You cannot have an opinion about ChatGPT before you learn these 10 things. I call this ChatGPT the bare minimum. Here's the list. Number 1. What is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI model. It's based on a family of models called GPT, which includes GPT-1, 2, 3, 3.5 and the latest, GPT-4. ChatGPT is all about conversation. It's trained on lots of chat data, so it can talk just like a human. ChatGPT is a type of large language model or LLM. LLMs have been around for a while, but ChatGPT made them popular because of its simplicity. In just 5 days, ChatGPT drew a million users. Now, it's being used by over 100 million people worldwide. It is so useful that once you incorporate ChatGPT into your work, it is hard to imagine life without it. Number 2. Are there others? ChatGPT is not the only LLM. Google has its own model called Palm that you can chat with through the product Google Bard. There's more. Meta also has a model called Llama. Llama was open sourced a couple of years ago, making it easy for anyone on the internet to build their own LLMs. Your own LLM? Yes, it is possible. The easiest way to play around with custom LLMs is on Hugging Face. Hugging Face currently has more than 300,000 models to choose from. Are they any good? One thing is for sure, GPT-4 is the best model ever, by far. Number 3. Once trained, ChatGPT doesn't use any data. ChatGPT is trained on lots of information, code, books, articles, even images. This training takes months. For instance, GPT-4 took about 10 months to train. When the training is done, ChatGPT stops learning. It has information up until the latest data it was trained on. In GPT-4's case, that's 2021. It is possible to fine-tune LLMs and provide more data after training, but that's a story for a different time. ChatGPT doesn't use data from the internet. In fact, it doesn't use any data at all. Instead, the model uses very advanced mathematics to generate the text that you see. You have browsed the internet using ChatGPT? Good for you! What you've done is the following. You have used Bing for search. And only then, the results were summarized by ChatGPT. ChatGPT is not connected to the internet. Remember this. A better option for you who browse the internet with ChatGPT would be to use Google Bard. It does the same but uses Google under the hood, not Bing. That's why Bard is so much better than ChatGPT when it comes to search. Overall, LLMs are nothing but AI models that don't need any data after they're trained. Every answer is based on probability, not data. Number 4. ChatGPT is all about probability. ChatGPT works based on probabilities. For instance, say you provide the sentence, back in high school, me and my friends would often go to... dot dot dot, and then ask GPT to finish it. Without more context, there are thousands of ways to finish this sentence. Here's how it works. Very, very spe simply speaking, ChatGPT assigns a probability to all the words that exist and decides how to finish the sentence. For instance, here are several possible words that could follow and their respective probabilities. Back in high school, me and my friends would often go to school, hiking, camping, to cafes, microphone. Since ChatGPT doesn't have any more context, all of these could work. So it simply chooses one of them. Words like microphone in this context have zero probability of being said. Nonetheless, they are also ranked. Most of the words in the English language simply don't work in this context. Now, 
ChatGPT doesn't calculate the probability of the whole phrase or answer. It does so for each word, or more specifically, each token. This is why the output of the chat is going out word by word. Sometimes it looks like GPT is glitching or thinking. In reality, it is calculating and comparing probabilities. Overall, GPT is always guessing the next best thing to say. It does so based on the context of the conversation. In our example, if we say, back in high school, we would often go hiking and then go dot dot dot, we are immediately eliminating hiking as an option. It has already been said, so its probability of following fell to practically zero. Here are the new probabilities. To school 7.7%, hiking 0, camping 5.4, cafes 0.1 and the microphone is still 0%. The probabilities have changed because of the extra context. Now that this is clear, let's zoom out a bit. In fact, every chat GPT reply is nothing but a guess. A very well-educated guess based on most of the text humanity has ever created. The more information you share, the more you're narrowing down the possibilities for ChatGPT. You're eliminating some words while increasing the probability of others being said. Just be careful. ChatGPT is so focused on maximizing these probabilities that it sometimes says things that are not true. ChatGPT cannot fact check, it can only guess. When it starts making stuff up, we say it hallucinates. With ChatGPT, it always comes down to probability. So share a lot of details and the rest is probability. Number 5. Prompt Engineering There are people who are very, very good at chatting with ChatGPT. They're great at prompting the AI to answer well. These are called prompt engineers, or lately, ChatGPT gurus, AI whisperers, prompt magicians, and other. Prompt engineers are not magical beings. These are people who just spent a lot of time talking to the AI and simply learned how to speak its language. Anyone can become a prompt engineer by simply following several steps. First, have 10 high-value conversations with the AI. Second, learn a couple of simple tricks. Let's go through this step by step, ask me clarifying questions, give five variations, use less adjectives, and so on. And three, continue asking the AI any question you have, any problem you face. Try to test the boundaries of the tool. Talking to the AI is not complicated. Anyone can do it. Talking to humans is much more complicated. Anyone can become a prompt engineer. And in just a couple of years, almost every human on earth will be. ChatGPT will be like Siri, always in your pocket, but it will actually work. Number 6. Limitations and Thresholds AI might seem powerful, but it can't grow endlessly. Nothing can. It has limits. Here are two big ones. Number one, hardware. AI models like ChatGPT are huge. They need lots of servers to run on. Big companies and even countries want these servers for their own AI models, but there just aren't enough servers for everyone. Number two, data. AI learns from data but we're running out of new data. By 2024, we might have utilized all the good data there exists. If there is no new quality data to learn from, AI cannot learn and grow as fast as it has been growing. Further technological advancements will be required. Number 7. Use Cases ChatGPT is useful for a number of use cases and can make many jobs easier. Whether you're in management, marketing, customer service, finance, software, or any other job that involves speaking and writing, ChatGPT can likely boost your productivity. It is exceptional at translation, 
argumentation, ideation, and many more. But ChatGPT excels in written text and not numbers. Number 8. Bad with numbers. ChatGPT isn't great with numbers. It might handle simple math, but don't count on it for complex equations, hard riddles, or logical deduction. ChatGPT is not a calculator and shouldn't be used as one. When you say 50 times 3, ChatGPT knows it is 150. Only because it has seen the text 50 times 3 equals 150 or similar many, many times. ChatGPT cannot really add, subtract, multiply or divide. It does not do the math. It is merely guessing. Always guessing. For text, it can get away with it, but not with numbers. For ChatGPT to be correct, it needs to have seen the problem countless times before. Like 1 plus 1 equals 2. But nothing more. Number 9. Reasoning The fact that ChatGPT is not a math geek doesn't make it stupid. At all. Prompt it well enough and it will be your best friend, coach, therapist or personal assistant. Bear in mind, it might not always provide great output, but that's usually due to your bad prompting. And in fact, when the output is good, it's often better than that of most humans. In a work environment, ChatGPT often provides extremely good answers to business decisions and can help in the decision-making process of many people. Don't believe me? Just ask ChatGPT, I'm going to do X. Try to explore the pros and cons of this decision. This is a prime example of how ChatGPT assists us to be better at everything we ask it. Number 10. Assisted intelligence, not artificial. Human brains will become assisted brains. Imagine for a moment a world where you have a second brain, one that never sleeps, never stops learning and never burns out. A brain for the dirty, boring tasks, the most complex questions and even the personal side projects for which we never find the time. A loyal second brain tirelessly working so your human brain can focus on whatever brings you joy. Wouldn't you like that? Adapt. Adopt AI.